What went through our minds as we were writing? I mean, we came, coming out of the pandemic, starting to tour again, to start to be a proper band again. I think that was both, you know, invigorating and, and fantastic to be out on the road. But the world had changed, I think, in, in many ways that was not for the better. Um, I think we kind of realized that, and, and also because of some of the guys in the band realized that, yeah, maybe we should move on and do other things. But all of a sudden, like, okay, what is it about this that needs to keep going? And during the pandemic, a lot, a lot of people started kind of reimagining uh, maybe their lives and like, what should I do? If, what, what is necessary? What is vital in my life? What is the purpose? And I think for, for me and for Martin and Johan, like we, we kind of doubled down on it. That, that means like this is exactly what we should do and what we must do. So that made it more important, but at the same time, like you had to kind of reflect the world around us. And I think it had become a more hostile place in many ways. Um, so it was, it was difficult to kind of deal with. Like you're taking this more seriously than you ever had maybe. At the same time, you have to kind of really dig deep into how you feel about it. Um, and, as, and I love the way it came out, and I, but the process is always even more difficult. Like the more serious you take it, the more kind of deep you go into it, the, the harder it is. But of course, uh, hopefully, you know, the outcome is, is all the better for it. But it's, it always is. I mean, every album I think it is, but I think um, f for us as a band, like kind of, this was kind of like, uh, it felt like a fresh start in, in many ways. Um, so we really needed that. Like it, we needed this to be that as special as it possibly could be. And um, so, yeah, it, 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 the, um, the satisfaction of kind of coming out on the other side of this was uh, really, really profound and, and amazing. I think kind of despair and kind of helplessness, um, this feeling of like, like what do you, helplessness, like how do you, what can, what can you do? What, how can we uh, deal with what, what's happening in the world? Like, and it, it's just like overwhelming. And, and I, think, I think we all feel that to a certain, you know, extent, but, it, it became very real, like going out, uh, traveling around the world in 2002. And it's like, what the hell? Like, so many things have changed. And I, I think, like, that, that time of reflection you had for two years when nothing happened, like, that made you kind of see things differently. And, um, yeah, and, and that became kind of the starting point for the album, that just like our experiences coming back and kind of like where we are now and how we go forward um, so uh, yeah hopelessness I think uh, I think we are very much at the, at the same on the same page you know it, this album was written by Johan and and Martin like solely them musically and me lyrically and and like going into an album without conflict and without kind of like yeah I want this I want that no we wanted exactly the same thing it was just a matter of uh, getting there and having Joachim and Christian who are like incredible musicians kind of backing those ideas up, you know. So whatever we come up with in the studio, we send to everybody and it's like, hey, what do you want to do here? And then that will inspire how we move forward. So just knowing that there were no boundaries, there were no limitations at all, because we can do anything. Joachim can play anything. So that just opened up so many op opportunities and possibilities for, for the album. And uh, we took advantage of that and I loved it. I mean, it, 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 of course, it is a profound uh, influence. But for me personally, like when I, when I started getting into music and metal, it, it, it was never that. You know, it was a little bit of Our Maiden, it was a little bit of Judas. It was, uh, but it was when I discovered extreme metal that everything kind of changed for me. So Creator and uh, Destruction and Sodom bands like that. That was it for me. You know, and I, I kind of so I can appreciate and I dig it but it was never kind of my thing because that's what everybody else was listening to. And me as a young elitist, elitist asshole, I, w I wanted to listen to, yeah, the Canadian poetry of Rush. I wanted to listen to prog rock and, and extreme metal. And so rock and roll was never that for me. You know, like I, as much as I love it now and I've always have, but it's, that was never, that was never the reason why we started. And, uh, but it's fucking cool. Like they're out touring right now and everybody fucking loves it. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. But, but that was never, in my world, they, it didn't make a difference.
I just give it, my first album was 2112. I borrowed it from uh, from a friend of mine, from uh, Anderson Jonas from At the Gates. Their dad had was into Rush, so we got it down to Jonas and Anderson. They gave it to me, and then um, then my dad had a record collector club, so I, I told where you can kind of exchange albums in between friends. And I said like, bring me all the Rush albums, and then uh, that was it. And this was in '90. Uh, the United, and, and I've been a huge, huge fan ever since, and I've seen them many times. And I saw the last tour in '15 in, uh, in in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, you can imagine. No, oh, I, I mean I saw Getty in England doing his press, uh, his book tour. So of course I would, but um, but they wouldn't. I don't think they would. They wouldn't play without me. So um, and I respect them as people, as musicians, as uh, like really strong individuals and and perfectionists. And so they have been uh, like really like a guiding, guiding force in, in whatever we do with the band and, and how I conduct myself and how I think. Like I think, what would Neil do? What would Getty do? And uh, I've, I've done that ever since we started.